sure? Because like my hair looks like there's a broom on did top you, of my head. Did you comb your hair today? Comb my hair? I don't comb my hair. Um, what's today? It's Labor Day. The six. It's September, Monday, September 6th, 2021. Happy birthday, Mark. It's Mark's birthday? Yeah, it's Mark's birthday. Happy birthday, Mark. So that's great. I didn't know it was Mark's birthday. Happy birthday, Mark. Um, oh. <laughs> so, um, just uh, recording quickly the um, experience we just had. We are going to be traveling to the States. So we're going to be flying into the States on Wednesday. And in order for us to do that, we need a rapid antigen test that they provide at um, a pharmacy here uh, called, in, in Canada called Shoppers Drug Mart. And um, it needs to, so the, the test results need to, actually the test needs to have come in, be taken like within three days or 72 hours or something like that before our flight. Our flight is on Wednesday. So um, I guess technically we could have gotten the test done yesterday, mm -hmm. but um, thought that maybe like a 48 hour thing might be good. So I actually called around yesterday and found uh, a shoppers that said that it's like, oh yeah, like we're open, so it shouldn't be a problem. We'll take down your name and number. And if there's a problem, we'll call you back. Of course. So they essentially said, just come on in. If there's a problem, we'll, we'll, we'll call, call you. you. We have your name and number. So um, watch the Jays game. Woo, the Jays, Jays won against the Yankees. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're, we headed down to the shoppers and we get to the pharmacist and we say, hi, like we're here for the COVID test. And um, said, well, you know, we're not doing it today. And She's, she said they're all booked up. They're booked they're up. Not doing it. They're not doing it. So, but it's, it's, yeah, strange. And she wasn't very kind about it. And so immediately I just started to panic because I'm like, oh, we still need to get this test and there's so many, so many things we still need to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Started calling around, around other stores. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon and everyone's like, no, well, booked up, how about Wednesday? And I'm like, well, well that's when we travel. So that's not gonna do us any good. Um, and then I, and then we walked out into the parking lot. Then um, I asked Joe to go back in and tell the woman who was behind the pharmacy counter. She wasn't the pharmacist. I think she was one of the assistants there um, that we had called and um, that I had left my name and number and all that kind of stuff. Because I, I was like, if I go in there, I'm probably gonna lose it. Because one of the things that upsets me more than anything is when I feel like I did what I needed to do, like I followed the, you know, the things that I should have done or whatever, and things still screw up. I mean, sometimes it's out of anyone's control, that's fine, but, Anyway, so I asked Joe to go in to talk to her, and then what happened? Um, I basically said um, my wife called yesterday, and um, you took her name and number, and you said that you would... But that uh, someone did. That somebody did, that it, it's okay, just come on in, and if there's a problem with the um, booking the, the test, we'll let you know. And, and then I guess I kind of rang a bell with her and she was like, oh, I, I saw the, the name and number, but I threw it in the garbage. And I was like, what? <laughs> like you, you threw it in the garbage? So um, she's like, yeah, you know, we get busy. And, and, and I was just like, why? You know, I was, I was puzzled by that, like why you would do that, but um, you know, what I did say, what? You threw it in the garbage, like the pharmacist kind of looked up. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was her screw up, uh, obviously, like, uh... Well, something happened on their end. Right. I don't want to, you know, place blame. But, um, 
her demeanor changed quite a bit right. though after that and then i was out in the car already um but i came back in and they took our information uh so we're gonna have our test done tomorrow so it'll be part two of this um trying to get uh, a rapid antigen test wow that bike um well it'll, it's, it's to be continued tomorrow but we just wanted to update you on our experience today just in case anyone's curious about how that goes mm -hmm. and in canada if you're traveling to the states you could take a rapid antigen test not all countries accept it but the states do canada doesn't accept it so we have to figure out a different one and we have to do a pcr test on the way back and that's going to be another adventure um oh there's bird poo we got bird poo oh, just happened it just happened Anyway, so that's where we are, and we'll update you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.